little angels and welcome to another video. So in this video I will be showing you how I basically the text how I make them spin come in and also rotate on its axis stuff. So basically I'll show you how to do this or just simple come in from the side and stuff and I'll also show you how to do that spinny thingy as well. So let's get started. I just put some random background things. So first of all, and this is for Camtasia, you guys. It's for in callouts. You would go to down, 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 down until you see the text. You position it however you want. It would be like, "Welcome to QT Angels." Oops, Joel's channel. If you said something like that, okay. So yeah. And big, uh, white. Okay, that will show up. So for this one, you basically have this wherever you want it to start from. Like in that case, I had actually start from outside. And here I just like added. Okay, maybe the text is added there. Eh, I'm just gonna move this up higher. Okay. So basically, it starts off outside, right? So maybe at two seconds and you want it to reach a certain point you go to visual properties initially it shows something like transitions or something else over there just go to more and then it'll show visual properties on the side here and then you click it then you say add animation you can make it as long as you need it to be this is like before and then you click this thing and this is the way you want it to look after so if you just want it to simple, simply slide into here that's what you do and this thing gets bigger to show that you're actually changing that part so here's the way it would look. You just come in with that. So now if you want to try the flippy things, all you have to do is spin this thing around maybe once or twice or three times. Depends on how fast you want it. If you keep on spinning in one direction so many times, it'll spin in really fast. Depends on how long, how much time you give it. Like look at this. It's just spinning like that. It just depends on how many rounds you do. You could also make it go the other way as well. So maybe now you want to make it go the other way. You move this a little bit further, click add animation. So it starts off from the point that's at, and then you click this thing for the end. And now maybe you want it to go this way. And you want it to kind of be slanted down, I don't know, like that over here, maybe. So then this is the way the whole thing looks like. Do that however you want it to spin, and then see, it kind of spins the other way and then stops there. So then, that's the way you would do those coming in. Oh, and also I can show you easing in as well. Here. Okay. So, here, right now, it'll just go at the same time. So, you see how it's just, it just goes in one flow. But then, if to one of these you were to click, right click, and do animation easing and exponential in and out, that means it will slowly come in and then it will speed up and then slow down as it comes towards a stop. But they both end at the same time though, just watch. See how it slowly it gets faster and it slows down. So yeah, you saw how like the bottom one, here I'll show it to you again slowly comes in see how much faster it came in that it speeds up and then it slows down towards a stop while that one went at the same time so yeah you can do that and also to show you how to do the sort of spinny things that I did right okay if I add an, another call out text work too okay so in this case to show you how you do the spinny things maybe you want it to do the weird spinny things while it's going upwards. So for to do those random spinny things, if you want a series, you'll have to start with a bunch of different ones. So again, visual properties, add animation, however long you want it to be. Okay, so then after you have it in a place designated area, click on the video. Click on it and then what was I gonna do? Alright. So maybe you want to move it upwards. So I just want it to actually not go all the way up there yet. Maybe stop right there. So then to flip it around randomly, you see these? These flip it around all over the place. 
see if you do um, 120 degrees, that's the way it'll flip. And then you can change this to like negative 37 degrees, 24. Or like, I don't know. Mm, still not enough. Well, too much. That's why you had to experiment around with these. Then you come up with a number and see how it does that. So for now, this is what it does. That's how you flip it, you know. Okay, so now to continue it, you select it again. Add another animation. Uh, I could just make it longer. So it goes to the end. Then I want it to go all the way up here. And I want this thing to... Actually, I don't want it up there yet. Maybe I want to move it to the side. Then I change this to negative something. Positive. Woo, that looks weird. By the way, these are just in terms of degrees. Up to like 360 degrees or negative 360 degrees. Whether you want to like clockwise, so to speak, or counterclockwise. Um, so, eh. Okay. And then I might want to just end it and join it so that it means it will keep changing throughout this whole thing. It will keep on moving throughout the whole thing. Then I want this back to... Uh, oh, oh, okay. Then I want it back to normal when it reaches up here. So now let's see how it looks. Well, we already know the beginning part. So you see how one of them, this upper one, actually like goes faster at this part and it slows down here and it starts off slow as well and then here comes the random changes see how it goes like all wacko so yeah if you want to make it do it faster then just shorten these links right down here and that's about it for this video tell me if you have any more questions or comments below thanks for watching guys bye cutie angel out peace